Hi guys, this is a bubble update for all of you I Mind Vap 9 fans out there. Uh, more precisely, we're looking at a couple of changes that have happened in the fast capture mode, the bubble mode of iMind Map 9. So let's get going. Okay, so first of all, there's a new number in the bubbles. If you look here, you can see this little number here. I'll just zoom in. Any of these, I guess you can guess what it is, because look, there's a four, and how many kids has it got? A day at the races, sheer heart attack, queen two, and jazz. So it's four. I've added a couple of songs from the album Jazz, Fun It and Mustafa, my favourites. And lo and behold, a two has appeared here. And I'm sure if I click there and type something else, a one will appear there. All right, so that's what's happened there. They've decided to complicate things a little bit, which was not... Uh, this is supposed to be the ultimate in simplification, this mode. And uh, they've decided to, uh, little by little, add uh, little sophistications to help us while still keeping it very simple. So um, that's what they've done. And they've told us, wherever you are, in any given bubble, you can see how many child bubbles it's got. Or, or in the, in the uh, mind map mode, how many branches, how many sub-branches it's got. Uh, another thing, which I think is a good, I think it's, I think it's a good... Um, a good addition because it, it just gives you a bit more clarity because I must admit those bubbles can get a bit overwhelming when there's there's a ton of them and you're not really sure what links up to what. Another thing they've done, I think, is change slightly what happens when you click on a bubble. So here, in the past, I think all of the ones surrounding the bubble you clicked turned orange, just the, the neighbours, the near neighbours. So Funit, Mustafa and Queen, I think in the past, it's, it's parent did turn orange. Um, now it's the one that it comes from, its parent doesn't turn orange, it stays blue. So I'll just show you that happening there and there and there. Okay, so that's pretty clear. Uh, ah, what's happened here? Yeah, that's my amazing music, that's the middle one. So all of its kids are orange and everything else a bit further away isn't. Now if I go into show hide ancestors mode, you can see what happens to something slightly different again. I think in this mode before everything was orange and everything is orange here because this is the central one. But if you click on the Beatles, all of the Beatles albums, in other words, the child bubbles or branches are orange, but the one it goes back to is blue. Whereas before I think it was orange as well. And the only thing that told you which was the parent was this little arrow here. So now that's, that's definitely clearer. And you can navigate away, Black Sabbath, there you go, and you can always see with the pale blue bubble which is the parent, which is a very good um, uh, change, I think. Now, if you click on Show Hide Ancestors again, there's another slight change. Okay, this is the central one. This is one away, and Jazz album is two away. And a new change is that the grandparent, if you were, is a slightly darker blue. So uh, the Jazz album, its parent is Queen, the group, and its grandparent is the central theme, My Amazing Music. And it's My Amazing Music, the grandparent bubble is slightly darker blue. So you can, you can get one more sort of uh, uh, help with knowing what's coming from where with that. It's only a tiny bit slightly bluer. They didn't add another colour and I don't know, maybe it could have been even slightly darker because it's, it's not totally distinguishable, but, uh, but it's okay. And if you go further out to Funit, for example, uh, its parent is the pale blue, and Queen, its grand grandparent, is a darker blue. And if you go to Great, the same process happens. And if you go to Hide Ancestors, you only get one, one away, as usual. Uh, another thing I wanted to tell you was, um, let me see, there's a new thing that has cropped up. If you have a look down in the bottom left, you can see this thing here. This says Great. This says Fun It, I'll click on it, and it turns orange, Fun It in the bottom, and Fun It bubble is high lit. If I click on Jazz, which is its parent, Jazz gets high lit. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, highlighted. And uh, if you click on Queen, no, I'll click on the bubble Queen, and you see Queen comes there without anything lit after it, because it doesn't know where you're gonna go from there. You might be wondering where my ama amazing music has gone. Because look, the, the new system of navigation or help in understanding where you are has disappeared, bottom left, 
or has it? <laughs> uh, okay, well, what happens is if you've got this side panel here open with all your maps, it hides it. And if you want to get back to it, you have to make sure that the entire screen is open so that you can see the navigation there. All right, so Jazz, Queen, My Amazing Music. So as long as you don't have that, that left panel open showing all of your maps, which effectively hides that, I'm not sure if it should, because uh, it doesn't go with the map, it stays there, then you can see it okay. And so that's pretty much the changes. So that's another way, this thing down in the bottom left is another way of quickly knowing where you are and navigating to an extent. You can, you can go back a level or a couple of levels quite easily. Of course, the, the other ways of navigating are simply to click on the bubble, <laughs> obviously, or to open the outline panel on the right, and then you can click on anything represented in that panel and it automatically zooms to those. Poor old Smiths, they haven't got any albums yet, have they? Here, let me add one in. The Queen is Dead, which a lot of people say is their greatest album. I am not convinced. It's brilliant, of course, because everything they did, okay, I'm biased, it's brilliant, but uh, I don't know, Strange Ways, Here We Come, uh, the second one, brilliant. Anyway, that's not got anything to do with anything, has it? Right, let me see. Um, all right, so grandparent bubble is darker, parent bubble is now blue, even in the hide ancestors mode. Um, the home indication is hidden in the new, new bottom left feature uh, if you have the panel open for the maps. And um, there's a new number showing the number of kids that any given bubble has, which I think is a nice addition. And um, I did think there was one other thing I was going to I was going to say, but I can't quite think what it was. Um, ah, yes, I remember. Uh, there was a bit of a an issue with strange things happening to the bubble colours uh, when swapping between mind map mode and the capture mode and the fast capture mode. This is what you can see when you do that. And I, there was a there was a an issue where I added a new a new thing here. A uh, new album. Let's have a uh, rush, and then I added another one, maybe like that, and um, a farewell to kings, and maybe another one here. No, I'll make it um, this type, so you can see what happens. Um, moving pictures. And then I moved back to the capture mode and something strange happened with the bubbles. Now, has that happened? No. There's my amazing music. There's Rush. And there are the two new albums. So it seems like they've sorted out that slight problem. Ah, okay. It has frozen. All right, now, um, I'm glad you're seeing this and that's one of the reasons for doing this in front of you. Okay, it's unfrozen. Now, I don't know why this happens. It may be that my computer has got too many things open or not, but if your screen does freeze sometimes in bubble mode when switching over, normally it's only a temporary measure. And also another thing, sometimes you see that your bubbles have got slightly confused because uh, to be honest, I'm just zooming out there, this one shouldn't be crossing over there, but what you can do is just drag it back and they sort of self arrange themselves. All right, that'll do for this time. A uh, few new changes to the wonderful fast capture mode in iMindMap 9. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, that was me. This still is me. And thanks for watching. If you want to know more, a lot more, about mind mapping, go to mindmapmad.com. And if you want to watch more videos, both already existing and in production, Go to my YouTube channel, which is probably Mind Map Mad, and you're probably watching it right now, in fact. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you in the big mind map in the sky somewhere. Bye.